All right, so uh, yeah, welcome to today's Next Level session. Um, the topic today is going to be a little bit about building out a real estate niche site. All right, so we're gonna go a little down a rabbit hole today. Um, should be fun. But what inspired me to kind of think about this is I've been doing a little more blogging around general affiliate marketing type of stuff. But I go through these phases where I think about SEO and uh, generating con uh, content that ranks uh, and gets people to click. Not only ranks, uh, but content that would be friendly to a Google PPC ad. Um, I'm a big fan of paid traffic too, where as we talk about a lot of these sessions where you just go and you run an ad, you don't wait months and months to rank the site. Uh, in the back of my head, I wonder, can we get the best of both worlds? Could we throw up a quick little site or even a blog post uh, for our real estate practice that gets us free traffic, but would also perform really well if we sent a targeted Google ad to it. So that's kind of the setup today. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard the term niche site. It's kind of a thing in affiliate marketing land. Uh, and it was kind of a lot bigger, maybe, maybe 10, five, 10 years ago. And, and people still do this for a living where they'll throw up a site around a specific domain. Think of it like developing virtual real estate. So let's tie it into real estate here where uh, you would have um, a very small site maybe, or start small, would be around a very focused topic and Google would rank you because it's very targeted around that topic. Uh, one of the best resources for this that I know of is something called Wealthy Affiliate. They talk a lot about this concept. And I think they still give away free accounts if you guys wanna check that out uh, to get a little background about what I'm talking about. But uh, one of the tools that Wealthy Affiliate offers is this tool called Jaxi. And I found myself on it last night on the couch and just kind of like a loser on Memorial Day, <laughs> Googling all these weird keywords, just having a blast this thing. And then eventually my mind turned toward real estate and said, oh, this, this is kind of interesting. And what Jaxi is, it's just a, it's a keyword research tool. Um, you could easily use Google's uh, keyword planner to do this sort of thing, but Jaxi has some other stuff built into it. And uh, I think it's pretty cool. I'm still on the free account here. I think I've been upgraded on this on the past when I was a little more into building niche sites. Uh, but even with a free account, you can have a lot of fun with this thing. And to give you an idea about what you can do, I've just typed in a keyword local to my market, St. Petersburg, Florida, uh, condos. And when I type that in, here, let's go to homes because I want to I want to show you kind of exactly what it looks like. And again, I'm on their free account. So if you want to play with this and then it kind of gives you some keywords related to that term and then you can sort right here and you can get what they think will get the most traffic. Now, how accurate this is, I don't know. But if you use it in relativity, you know, it's telling you that, hey, this keyword probably is getting more searches than these ones down here. Um, so going back down the condos. Uh, what this is starting to tell me is that, hey, here are some things that people are Googling and here's the search volume. And again, you can uh, uh, do this with other tools. Great. Uh, yeah. Ahrefs, I don't know how you say that, uh, I'm aware of them, has a free SEO key keyword tool. There's lots of these things out there. Uber suggest. suggest. Uh, one of the things that I find interesting about Jaxi, and I don't know if these other ones do it, maybe they do, is that you can quickly search for keyword targeted domain names, where basically on this right column, if I want to see if, if say, I don't want St. Petersburg Carl Hotels, St. Petersburg Florida condos for sale, I can click search and it'll tell me if there are domain, domain names available for that. And in theory, I can go get the .com St. Petersburg Florida condos for sale right now, a direct match keyword. Now, it used to be uh, people thought, and it's probably still partially true, that having the direct match keyword mattered a lot for ranking. Um, I think where it's at now is it probably doesn't matter as much as it used to where you could gain that, but it certainly can't hurt, right? Especially if you think about when you're running a Google ad and having the direct keywords that somebody might be uh, searching in there. So um, so this might be one where I go ahead and I buy, look, the .com is available. Let's see one that's shorter. So I have St. Petersburg, Florida condos. .com is available, right? So this is kind of interesting, right? You could buy a .com domain name, and I would stick with .coms if you can, around a tight niche, we have downtown St. Petersburg condos. Now, again, only 64 searches, maybe you get 11 clicks a month organically, so that might not be so exciting. But up here, to get 160 clicks on the main domain, and then if I know I'm going to have other content related to these other keywords and naturally hit on them, you could start to build up 
you know, a fair amount of traffic in a small niche without a lot of work. It's kind of my thought. Uh, Jaxi always does this, key, this key, keyword quality indicator column if you kind of hover over it. Uh, so if I go and I click get QSR, it, this is basically telling you how competitive this is relative to other people trying to rank for the term. So we're pretty long tail here, right? Long tail meaning it's pretty out there uh, in terms of free uh, words in the keyword. It's not a two word search like St. Pete condos or Tampa condos. It's longer tail, it has more words in it. Um, so it stands to reason that it's easier to rank for. So what if I wanted to say, all right, St. Peter's with Florida condos, and then over on the right side, St. Peter's with Florida beachfront condos, this kind of gives me stuff that's related and all of these things on the right, these are potential pages or blog posts on a little mini site. These are also things that I might blog about on my KV Core site or on the niche site I create to make it feel more relevant to Google because basically uh, the site will start to feel about these things. So I might from the beginning say, uh, uh, bring out a notepad here, let's see. And I can start to plan my site. So let's just say St. Petersburg, Florida, Florida condos for sale.com. That's pretty long, right? Uh, I'll see if I can find a shorter one. And then I could come over here and I could say, okay, well, maybe I'll have a post about beachfront condos. I've lost my beachfront condos, uh, condo insurance luxury condos so i'm writing these down condo insurance luxury condos um i'm looking on the right side now uh condo rentals okay and this is giving me ideas content that i might add i'm clicking on this brainstorm on the right i'm not sure what this is um what's the condos to help you brainstorm I thought this was interesting, whether or not you guys are going to go buy a domain and build out a whole niche site, as I'm about to talk about, or you're just going to use a keyword search tool like this to build yourself some ideas for what you might blog about. And also tying into a couple of weeks ago, we did our YouTube series, what you make, white make videos about. I can now go make a video about condo insurance. I can go make a video about luxury, luxury condos, condo rentals, uh, beachfront condos, right? So that's like four posts I could do around St. Pete condos. And my site will start to seem more relevant to that search term and the ones related to it than my competitors. So you guys follow me so far. Is this kind of relevant to what we're doing here? I know it's not KV core intensive, um, um, but yeah. And Claire is saying, do you think focusing on a niche topic on KV core blogging, almost like a niche site would be beneficial? I do, I really do. I think, I think that if you are going to blog uh, and if you're, if you're going to be in business in general, it makes sense to niche down. So. If you say, hey, I'm about new construction or I'm about uh, rental uh, rentals or I'm about fixer uppers. So let's just say I, I do Tampa new homes for sale. You might say, hey, my KV core site as far as blogging and content is concerned is gonna be very focused on new homes for sale. And all the ads I run are gonna be in this niche, my Facebook ads, my Google ads. I do think it makes sense. And you, you have the ability to rank for these terms if your content's focused around it. So Tampa new homes, I'm gonna do that same sort again. See brand new homes for sale, it doesn't have Tampa, Tampa home sale. So I can start to search. Some of these would be awesome domains by the way, right? So there's a .net, .net .org, right? Um, uh, Ed, uh, just to answer your question, huh, at 1 p.m., at 1 p.m. we do our quick start sessions, um, which are, that's Eastern time. I bet we have a time zone mix up here. So those are an hour before my session. So maybe you got you had 1 p.m. and you're, you're in Central. <laughs> but those happen every week, uh, Monday through Thursday at the same time. And these are a little bit more uh, advanced. You guys are welcome to hang out. But yeah, we're not we're not going through the basic quick start right now. OK, so uh, continuing on. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure, Ed, uh, but I do these, been doing these sessions at this slot for a long time. These are our next level sessions. Yeah, so Dee's asking, uh, what is this site like? This is just a keyword research tool. Uh, other ones include AHREF, Uber Suggest. But what I'm doing right now is I'm looking for some topics that I might blog about uh, or um, 
or something I might build a whole niche site around. So St. Petersburg, back to the condos. Again, we're gonna sort by traffic. And you can see I had the dot com right here. So now that I, let's say I do wanna build out a whole website for this, okay? And uh, this would be a side project. It would be a rabbit hole, right? But maybe you wanna hire a VA to do this or you know somebody who's good at throwing up quick sites or it's just something you wanna do. Um, uh, so let's just say I want to rank for St. Petersburg, Florida condos for sale. I'm going to buy St. Petersburg, Florida condos for sale.com. The two options I, I would have, and there's a few, uh, maybe there's three or four. I could go to Wix.com. I don't know Wix very well. I know this is a free site creator. Uh, WordPress. I could go build a site, right? Um, and I could do a whole week or two about WordPress. I know more than I care to share. <laughs> WordPress, uh, but but WordPress is cumbersome. There's a lot of work to be done there. There's a lot of things to know. Um, you could also use something like, uh, there's a lot of free site builders, right? What I say, Wix are ready. There's a few others. Uh, but one thing that's intriguing me is the idea that you can just go to google.com, right? Which is the biggest search engine and is the one we kind of want to rank on. And I've seen affiliates talk about this in a few YouTube videos. And I could, in theory, just go build a new site on Google's property. Uh, and Google's templates and themes for these sites are very lightweight, um, and they probably have a good chance of ranking. They probably follow best practices, uh, you, you might think, um, for, for ranking a site. So if you go to sites.google.com, and you have, you're logged into your Google account, I can click blank here, and let me grab my keyword. So I'm literally going to call it the keyword I'm trying to rank for. And this is a super long term tail keyword. I, you know, I'm doing this a little bit live. I did a little research before, but maybe try to find something shorter with the direct.com. But I think this is fine. Right. And then I will. Florida. Condos. Put a headline. And what I can do is I can come to the settings right here and I can buy a custom domain. And I can buy it directly from Google. So what am I doing? I'm just pasting in that keyword. I told you guys, this is gonna be a little bit of a rabbit hole today. And you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but. But the idea here is that this is possible to do. So I'm, I'm putting that in, exact match, $12 a year. And what's nice about buying it straight through Google and buying it through the site platform is they're just gonna attach the domain up. If I was building a WordPress website, I have to go set name servers and I have to, have to do all this gobbledygook. Um, so I'm gonna click here, go buy. And if this is quick and easy to do, I'm actually gonna do it now, just to show you guys the process and how quick it is. Uh, are we fine? Is this interesting, guys? I am going to bore you here and <laughs> put all my stuff in. What I'm hoping to do is show you that you can spin up a nice little niche site. And you can see the second section here, it says DNS records. It's automatically going to be set up. I have no idea if this, I don't doubt this is a current credit card I don't use. So this one might be. Get rejected in front of everybody watching. I just don't know which of these cards is the right one. From over the years using Google. So now they're going to register me this little niche site and go back. And now that site sits on St. Pete. St. Petersburg, Florida condos for sale.com. Okay, thanks, Claire. Yeah, and you don't have to do a full site. You could be blogging on your KV Core site. One of the things I'm, try I'm trying to get to here that I want to show you guys is that you can tie in a third party site using the embed features and different things that you have on KV Core too. So 
Um, cool. Now, now if I go to the website, I am curious. I don't know if the uh, domain servers are going to work that quickly. The name servers, if it's actually going to register, but I'm going to try to visit the site, see what happens. Okay, it's probably going to take a minute for it to actually propagate on the web. A uh, question is, can you use Canva for a site? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if you could throw a whole URL on Canva. I, I would doubt that you can, uh, but it's possible. Um, so over on the right side, we're just going to play around. You can see I have a number of different themes I can use. Let me choose this impression one. Play around with the font style here. All right. Then I can start to add a text box right here. It's very easy to use. So I can say something like, welcome to St. Petersburg, Florida. Favorite, St. Petersburg, Florida. On the search site. On this site, you'll find, and then I'll put some uh, condo listings. News about St. Pete. Uh, condo video tours. Condos. Condos we make them. And more. Uh, this kind of listicle thing, this this format I'm following, Claire, you said you're, you're blogging more. Uh, I always like, it kind of helps to write. So you kind of do your, your intro to a blog post. And then you'll say, hey, uh, we're going to talk about or here's what to expect. And you do three things and you do the and more. I find myself doing that a lot just to kind of get words in there. Um, you know, it used to be that, you know, if you kind of bolded your keywords here and there, right, and you highlighted some things, not without being overly spammy with the content, uh, but if you just make it flow nicely, uh, it can work really well. Uh, and more. And then we could do something like if you're serious about finding a condo for sale in St. Pete, the first step might be to let us know about your search criteria. Just use the form below to get, get your St. Pete condo uh, search started. So I'm going to put this as an H2. See the heading right here? Yeah, bold it. <laughs> Doing this live with you guys, so it's kind of hard, but I just want to give you an idea. You know, right now we've got a simple one page website, right? And I'm saying just use the form below. Well, it's a Google site. So Google actually links very nicely with Google properties. And I could go build a very simple Google form on the site, right? That, that lets people. Uh, tell me what their criteria might be. So let's go here. I'll do new Google Forms. Uh, St. Pete for condo. condo criteria. Let us know. Let us know what sort you might be looking for. Okay. And then I can start to do this to say, uh, uh, are you moving how many bedrooms do you need? So I'm not going to do this whole thing now, you know, in the interest of moving this along, but let's just, just as an example, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, and then we'll do a, an email field. Uh, best email to send to a list, right? We would go through and we'd get a bunch of details that we want. Like, do you want something that's waterfront? You know, so I'll probably add more questions to this, but for now, for demo purposes, I'm just going to say, all right, cool. I've created this. And now when I go back to my site, I can add this in there. All right. 
So it's down there with the Google form. Uh, Sam, it'll be on our YouTube channel. We're streaming it live. So it's the Inside Real Estate YouTube channel for the replay of this. Okay. So yeah, I'm not going to obsess right now over the design, but of course I could come in here. I could change the background image to be St. Pete, Florida. Here, let's just try it. You can actually run the search in Google. Google's scary. You can do pretty much everything here, huh? Um, just this image and see what happens. Oh, cool. That was pretty cool, huh, guys? <laughs> I just did a quick image search and I changed it. Um, up top here, I could make a logo if I want. Right. Or maybe I would use the logo for my company, you know, for Forever Florida Real Estate right there. Uh, the YouTube channel here. Here's the link to find the replay, guys. It's just inside real estate.com slash webinars. That'll take you to the YouTube channel. Uh, good question from D here. Let me let me just do. She asked me to show how it'll look. Um, So you can see here when I click the publish, you can see right here, it's saying allow uh, 48 hours, right? Um, and I'll click publish. And then let's see if I can come up here. I'm trying to just go to the site as requested. Uh, view publish site right here. Hopefully it opens a new window. It's not awful, is it? it it's not bad. <laughs> and there's, you know, we just did it really quick. There's lots of other things I could have done. I could add images. I could add videos. It's mobile responsive. It's super fast. Speed, uh, uh, speed is very important to Google for indexing. So super fast, right? Um, I'm definitely going to make sure I've got some of my keywords in here, right? Yeah, it was $12 for the, and, and really you could do it on Google for free. Um, you can see up here, your URL would be this. So you could, you don't have to tie an actual URL to it. It'll just be sites like google.com slash views slash blah, blah, blah. Um, but I, from, you know, for 12 bucks a year, it makes sense to attach the actual domain name at all. So D, thank you. You are, um, feeding me into the next, um, part of the session. She has, how do you link this to KV core? So let's add some more stuff to this little micro niche site that we're doing here. So I click a little edit, right? And do that. Yeah. Or I could just go back. So this is one page. And I'll, I'll add more to this. You guys know me. I would probably record a video and have it be up here. Think about it. If you embed a YouTube video in this site, do you think Google's going to like that? They own YouTube, right? So I could easily click the YouTube thing and I can throw my YouTube video in there very easily up top. And this is going to start to I just, Google's going to start to give us points for this thing, right? As related to St. Pete, Florida condos, they're probably going to rank it if I had enough content. But to go into your next question, how do we tie to KB Core? Well, let's start to add other pages that do other things. So I'm coming up here to the top right, and I'm going to click plus. And it's got this new menu section. I'm going to do new page and check your condos value. How about that? So we're going to do something related. Check your St. Pete condo's value. And it put it up top. It added a navigation up top. Okay, so cool. And then that page, oh yeah, it gave it a title right up here. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to embed, let's do a little bit of text first. Uh, use the form below quickly. See how much a buyer might pay. Oh, I'm doing all camel case. Like, ugh. I must be driving some of you guys nuts. It's just the marker in me. I'm used to every word is capitalized. Like I'm writing a headline. Quickly see what a buyer might pay for your same condo in today's market. Okay, and then I'm going to add an embed. Right, so up here. I'm now going to embed, and I'm going to put some embed code in here. Now, where am I going to get that embed code? Now, I'm going to go to KV Core, and I'm going to go to the Web and IDX section, and I'm going to go to Website Embeds, and I'm going to grab the embed for seller evaluation right here. 
I'm going to embed that. Hit next. So now what we've done, and I'm going to drag it wider. Looks like I can kind of do that. So now I've got a page on my site about checking the St. Pete condo values. Publish. Publish. And then let's try to view the site again. View publish site. Cool. Yeah, you know, and it's it looks sparse right now. Um, but but what will happen is, so let's say I type in an address, just my home address here. It'll pop out and it'll go through the flow on your KB Core website. So it's integrated with KB Core, right? So it's it's a tab. So if I go to the home page, I probably need to do a little work on the length of this. See how it's kind of cutting it off in my navigation up top, but that's okay. We're we're going to learn the platform a little more. Right. Um, also notice that I can put specific blocks and there's there are a lot of options here that we haven't touched on yet. Uh, so check your St. Pete condo value. Now let's do a page. Let's do a search page. Search St. Pete. Search for condos. This is advanced. Search condos. Custom path is probably the URL. Okay. And then I have a few options here. Um, go to insert, I can say, uh, use the search box below to search for St. Pete condos now, or you can click some of the quick links down below. Uh, Wendy, yes, you can do um, more than one embed on a page, I'm pretty sure. It, it, I've played with this, it, it's pretty flexible. Everything you have on the right side, you can just drop in there um, pretty easily. So, so, uh, so let's do an embed again. And this time I'm gonna, just gonna use the website widget. So these are the horizontal searches. I'll just use a, embed code like that. Insert again. I'll pull it wider so it looks good. And then, as I mentioned in my text, I could also do some Saint Pete condo quick search links, like so. This heading. And what I'm going to do here is similar to what I do on my. Um, my deal links page on my site. I'll show you guys that for context. But basically for different types of deals, I actually link to deal links. So you can see down here, I got income properties, foreclosures, fixer uppers, and so on. And the way I built these is I just go to, oh, that's, I got one of these the other day, guys. Remember this webinar? And I was like, where did that come from? I'm not running the ad. I completely forgot I had the survey in there. <laughs> there we go. Um, but anyway, I, I would make deal links for various things related to condos. So I would I would go into the lead engine in KB Core and maybe I'll make them for different neighborhoods, right? So coming back down, come into my text box and I would do uh, downtown St. Pete condos, walkable St. Pete condos, St. Pete condos, luxury St. Condo. Um, uh, St. Pete condos under 250K, right? So I can make a nice kind of list of interesting condo links and bullet point it right here so it becomes more of a research. Uh, you said, How did the CTA move on my site? Uh, not sure which one <laughs> you're referring to. I, I just picked around. But, but again, what I would do is I would run searches for each of these. And I would link to them. And then the survey, publish. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, the survey up top here, this was Hello Bar. We did a webinar about this $100 Home Depot gift card bribe, which by the way, I was telling somebody about it the other day. 
I think it ended up like being like 13 bucks a lead for somebody to fill this, fill this, this full thing out. So that webinar is in our archives. Um, I just, you know, of course it works. So I haven't done it anymore. I just don't have time to sell houses. <laughs> but um, yeah, that, that was that. So now we've got this site. Check your St. Pete condos value. Search for condos right here. Um, and it's all interlinking right here. So I'm gonna leave it at this, but now know that you can go and you can build, if you get a condo listing, for example, and you wanna feature, you can say the condo listing of the week, you can start to add additional pages. Now, the only thing here is that it doesn't have a blogging function. That's okay. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that every page kind of links to every other page, kind of. Um, with respect to kind of how the flow, you don't wanna have any pages that aren't linked from anything else. So if I start to do right here, let's come to the home page. You know, I might build a page that has featured condo listings and then I would list them all on that page. Yeah, do you say you literally just look all, you did, that's what I was trying to show you guys. So we've been messing around with this for a half hour. I'm talking to you while I'm doing it. Um, basically I did, I just built a whole micro site, right? So, um, and then the question was, how do you link to KV core? You know, I linked to the squeeze links. Um, I can generate leads here. So if somebody fills out, this is kind of my, my welcome page. Uh, but if somebody fills this out, I can generate a lead and I can zap it into KV core using Zapier, right? So I can say anytime somebody fills this out, um, I, I almost, want this form to be where I send traffic. So let's, I'll show you what I mean by that. I almost don't want to send a Google click here and give them extra things to do. I want them to go straight to the form. So I might actually make another page. Um, search search now i'm doing this a little out of order and make the basically make the embed for the form be the, the first thing that people see right up top here for the google form and it wasn't an embed wasn't it it was just a form itself that uh, you know i might change the title and the color of this to fit better the actual form but again yeah they can click through there so what I'm trying to do is a few things, just to kind of recap. One, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to develop a, a virtual piece of real estate around a niche keyword in my market and have the potential that this gets me some organic clicks every month that I don't pay for. Because it's on a Google property and it follows Google's recommended practices around structuring a site by its nature, because it's a Google site, of itself. And because the domain is registered at Google and because I've integrated Google Forms and I'm put Google YouTube videos on here, the theory is that as long as I add content to this every now and then, and I start with a good base, I have a chance of ranking for this long tail keyword. An okay chance. And the traffic might not be through the roof, right? It might only be, you know, the potential of 200 people visiting, you know, Googling that every month. But if 200 people Google that every month and going back here, trying to get the number on that one, um, 160 Google it. And then I get 28, say I get 28 clicks just on for this keyword, not just, you know, just for this keyword. I can get key clicks for these other keywords too, because the site is about St. Pete Florida condos, right? Let's say I get 28 free people to visit the site every month and three of them start to search. Okay, well, that's pretty cool. That's three free leads. And then it just happens like that every month <laughs> for free. And not to mention all the other traffic from the other keywords that I might be putting on there. You know, if I do a page, it's called Beachfront Condos for Sale. It's not the whole domain, but I might have a page that's beach, Beachfront Condos. Um, I can start to add up and, hey, can I get another 10 leads a month um, from this site? You guys just saw me spend a half hour on it. What if I spend another two or three hours on it, really making it sharp and building it out, you know, not and, you know, making it look clean and, and adding more content? 
So, so, and then think about that. If it's generating, say it's generating 10, 20 leads a month, and I have to move out of my market for some reason, personal reasons, you know, the spouse gets another job somewhere, or I just want to retire, right? Well, now I've got this asset, this piece of virtual real estate that I could uh, generate the leads and refer them out to somebody at my office. I could sell the site to somebody else. I could lease it out to another agent, right? So it's, it's pretty interesting. There's lots of things you can use it for. And another very cool thing about it is that it, it potentially is going to give your KB Core site some good backlinks from Google. Um, you know, SEO, search engine optimization works a lot on backlinks. So you remember we had our search for condos and I put some links in here back to those specific condo lists once I build these links in the lead engine. That's giving some interlinking and some backlinks to my other site. So it helps my main KB core site. So in theory, you could have a series of feeder sites like this. I think people have uh, terms for that. And they built blo blo building blog networks. You could Google blog networks. Um, it became sort of a spammy practice that Google didn't love, but if you do it in a moderate way, it's not going to hurt you. It, it's kind of a good thing. The whole thinking is that you don't want your site to just stand alone on the web. You want to have other things pointing to it. Um, so that's kind of the summary and the thinking. Uh, again, don't forget you could just use your keyword research to build blog posts, but I've kind of gone nuclear here and just went a whole site, invested $12, and now I own St. Petersburg, Florida condos for sale.com. And if somebody searches that keyword term, there's a good chance they're going to find this site. It's got a direct keyword match and all the contents about that. It's very targeted. All right. Looking at some questions here. Um, is there a way to change the author of a KV Core blog? Oh, that's a good question. It's never come up for me. And I don't know that you can. Let me look. I don't think so. I mean, in, in WordPress, you could. Here, I'm going to go just look at this. No, um, the only thing I would say, unfortunately, you can't right now. Um, it might not be hard to just control A, control C, you know, control X, delete everything, and then go repost it as the agent from their account. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be a way to do that. Change the actual author. Um, you should be able, you guys can see each other's chats, can't you? John, you should be able to see everybody's chats in the chat box where you're chatting. <laughs> Not sure why you can't. Oh, cool, cool. Uh, the replay is at insiderealestate.com slash webinars. It, I'll put it there. It's actually on that YouTube channel. I just need to put it in that playlist. So it's instantly available. So, so yeah, that's what I had for today, guys. Just, it was something on my mind, this idea of niche sites. Uh, I would... You could build a portfolio of these. You know, if you give somebody who's, uh, I'm thinking about my 16 year old, 17 year old son now, and thinking, hmm, I bet you he could build me a few of these things pretty quickly. You know, somebody with some, some basic tech skills who can write, uh, you could go do the keyword research, say, okay, I'd like a site, don't go crazy, but I'd like a site around condos. Might be cool if we had a site around land for sale. You know, might be nice if we had something for new construction or, or you know, something for St. Pete, Florida neighborhoods, right? People are Googling that. Um, I remember I had a Google map that I built for, for Philadelphia schools that I eventually, I think I gave it to somebody who worked for the Philadelphia schools district like a few years ago because they were like, can we want to edit that? You can't get it. And I was like, here, just have it. Leave me alone. But it's like a, you can build these properties, you know, that have tangible value. And I had built that map site as something and just had a little link over to our, our uh, Philadelphia real estate site, which ranked number one on Google. It was one of those things that was feeding us. Um, so I don't know why that came up, but, but yeah, just an idea here, everybody. Um, uh, the Philly map, it was like Philadelphia school. Here, let's go to maps.google.com. It's probably still there. These are things that will enhance your real estate site if you're providing resources for things that people might be searching for. That's why I went down that rabbit hole, right? So if I go Philadelphia schools, I made a custom map. Boy, I don't know if it's still gonna be there or not, but let's try. Yeah, I don't know. It used to come up. You, you can make custom maps. So you could make, a map that's like the best neighborhoods to invest in. Um, share or embed map. I'm trying to see where. 
edit the map. Ah, sorry, that might have to be another topic. Maybe I'll play with that. But if you made a resource like best things to do, when I was searching on Jaxi this morning, I, I looked for like things to do. I typed in St. Pete, Florida, and this will be the same in every market. So you could have a site that is things to do in, um, you know, Oklahoma City, right? And you can see these, these keywords get serious traffic. Things to do in St. Petersburg, things to do in St. Petersburg. So now I can do, okay, let's search for that domain, right? So I could buy things to do in St. Petersburg, Florida.com. This would probably have been a better example. I could literally just post anytime there's something new to do to the site, <laughs> cool to do to the site, or just have a library of all the cool things like the sunken gardens and all the stuff that everybody, all the tourists like to do. And then on every page of my site, at the bottom of every page, I could have that form. That's just a property search. Search, search for real estate right now, right? So rank the site and then have your basically site have your ad on it right there. Um, so Diane's asking, uh, if you have a domain already uh, and you make an embed, it will link to KB Core, right? Um, if you're talking about the embeds that I grabbed from KV Core, yeah, it'll just bring people to KV Core. Maybe I went too fast. So here's the search that I just embedded. I'll just search Hillsborough County and click found 1601. It'll then open up my KV Core site with that property search. It kind of jumps people out. If that was the question. So. So I'm going to uh, probably work on this a little more. We'll touch on it in, over the next week or two, and I'll show you what I do to enhance out my site. Um, of course, we're going to watch and see if this thing ranks. Um, there's probably some things I need to do, like getting Google Analytics set up. Um, oh, actually, if I click in the settings here, I can click Analytics. Enable Analytics. Right, so I would want to go make an Analytics site, and then I can track my traffic. Um, another thing I didn't mention, uh, Jaxi has its own, I'm sure Ahrefs and all those other SEO tools have it too. There's this um, up here, site rank. You can actually type in any domain and see if it ranks on the first page of Google. If you pay for Jaxi's premium, you can go like 50 pages deep and see where things rank. So if I wanted to see like St. Pete, Florida condos, you know, does foreverflorarealestate.com rank for St. Pete, Florida condos? Probably not. Um, is what we haven't tried, but you see it says it doesn't. But I can check this in a few days and I, I, it might take more than a few days, but in a few weeks, let's see if this domain we just bought actually ranks. So. Anybody have any other questions related to KV Core? These are generally Q and A's. I usually have some kind of spiel or topic. We went a little longer today because we got ambitious and built out a whole website. Um, I was really pleased by how quickly I was able to just Google image search an image in the market and find a cool picture. And it just made the whole thing look nice, right? Like look legit. Does anybody have any other questions you'd like to address? If not, we can just call it a day. Uh, again, I'm gonna keep working on this idea. Um, our replays of other sessions like this are found at insiderealestate.com slash webinars. So you can see our YouTube playlist. Uh, the website is jaxy.com. You spelled it correctly, D. It's J-A-X-X-Y. Um, you could, you could, of course, also use uh, any number of other tools for this. I just really like that I'm able to see that the domain is available based on the keyword. That, that's kind of really handy stuff. Like same, things to do in St. Pete, Florida. Like kind of cool. Like I can see if the .com is available. It's only a net and org. Nah, let's try this one. I think that one had the .com. And then, yes, uh, YouTube videos, we have so many. <laughs> like this, if that's what you're referring to. Five years worth of stuff like this. This is, this is. I think the last week or two, you guys have been um, humoring me. I've been going a little bit off the beat path and we're getting a little more creative. We did a whole series on YouTube. Uh, we did some <laughs> hacking up real estate graphics last week, uh, but there is tons of stuff hard hitting uh, related to using KV Core and building funnels around KV Core. Um, I do love the idea though of this topic today of building feeder sites for your main KV Core website uh, that go into tiny different niches. I didn't go deep on the SEO thinking behind it, but bottom line is 
Google does like sites that are very much about one specific thing and a few related things. Um, your main KV core site, because it is in, it is trying to give people the ability to search all different stuff, it'll be about real estate in your area. But unless you add a lot of targeted content via blog posts and everything else, um, it's hard to make it about one little micro keyword and a little harder to rank. And taking the approach that I just did, where um, I have a pretty good idea that I can rank for this keyword that can get me a couple, 200, say, visitors a, a month or something. You know, I can, it can at least show in the search 200 times. Uh, so, okay, that's the, that's the recap. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm hoping to have a friend of mine on either tomorrow or Thursday. He's like, a, he's a little bit of a coach of mine, uh, productivity, uh, momentum <laughs> type dude. And he's got this whole kind of flow around how he meditates and thinks about building his businesses that I, I was hoping he'd come on and share with you guys. So hopefully we'll have him on tomorrow. Um, if not, we'll be back with uh, just another Q&A and maybe we'll talk a little bit more about this topic. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern again for 